Good morning. I'm calling for Marcel. Marcel, I understand you won some tickets with CTV for Rock and Roll Spanish, and we're very excited to get those tickets to you. I'm just wondering if we can hold off and have you come in and pick them up in a day or two. Our client is from Spanish, and he works shift work, so he hasn't come by to drop off those tickets just yet. I will give you a shout back to let you know once we are sitting at reception and waiting for you, Marcel. My name is Sita. I work closely with the client and actually MC the event. And uh, like I said, I can give you a shout once they are here at CTV for you to pick up. If you have any questions, you can give me a shout back on my cell phone. So yeah, that's pretty cool winning those tickets. I mean, they're not the my favorite bands in the world, but Jelly's on holidays that week, so it gives us an excuse to do something. Right on. Well, I'm on my way. I got a phone call. There's a washer dryer. So we'll go grab that. If it's still there, that is. You know the story that about that. Okay, I'm looking for a white van in this laneway. Wait, man, here. Unless you're dryer, maybe. Yeah. Well, they're way back there, so I'll have to come back with a uh, cart. Well, I'm on my way to get my bandage thing changed again. It's uh, something like day six. Like, I've been paying four bucks a day for parking, like, for whatever. Ten minutes work. I'm gonna find a new parking spot. But anyway. After that, we're gonna go pick up that washer and dryer or whatever buddy's got them. Well, I found myself some free parking. It says, uh, do not park between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. So we're 4.30 right now, so we should be good to go. It's better than four bucks a day. So yeah, we're all done at the hospital thing or whatever. This used to be the old uh, emergency uh, hospital, but now it's just stragglers left behind, but anyway. So I won't have to come here every day anymore. They said they should have told me this the first day. Well, I can do it at home myself, right? So they gave me all the supplies and stuff to do it at home, so... That's good. No more paying for parking. And there won't be no more walking up and down this big-ass hill here. This is a long-term care facility. My buddy Chris's mom's in here. That place is pretty depressing, but anyway... Well, life goes on, and eh? we'll just carry on and carry on. Okay, let's go get the, the dolly so we can go get those appliances. So yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, the lady got tired of waiting for me. It's only two days, three days, whatever. So she gave it to some other scrapper. Snoozy lose, I guess. But anyway, I gave her my phone number, and she's got a fridge she's getting rid of in the next few days, so she's gonna call me whenever it's ready to go. Well, from there, I guess. And I was getting pulled over there for a second with my loud ass muffler. The cop turned around. I don't know if he's coming, but out here and take a long way home. Well, it's far from what I wanted, but I found some stuff on my way home on my own street there. Here we got some brass and more brass. Dirty old smoky speakers. Alright on. Anyway, let's go in for a beer. So yeah, I know it's the alternator in the truck, but I'm still going to charge his battery, see if that's any good still. Because uh, the cheapest price I found on an alternator was 139 bucks. Anyway, I'm going to call the scrapyards and see. I'll just get one from the scrapyard for now, because I don't, can't really can't afford dick right now. That obviously didn't work out the, the plan. <laughs> it's all good though, whatever. I'm almost back to full force, so I'll be able to go out scrapping. And I gotta start making some money, that's for damn sure. A uh, fellow YouTuber contacted me the other day, and uh, he's got uh, deep freeze and miscellaneous stuff for me out in Naughton, which is only uh, 15 minutes out of town. But I'm just waiting for a phone call from him. We'll pick that up whenever that is, hopefully soon. Look at all the shit they set me up with. So yeah, I gotta go in once a week just to get checked up. 
only want to measure my finger to see how much it's shrinking. But anyway, yeah, that's a one week supply of stuff. Well, right on, people. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Later. We got a special guest. <coughs> Joe Mokana. Decided to drop in to say hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was almost pointing at myself to light it, John. Oh, no. <laughs> that would suck, eh? What fun is that? <laughs>